Welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for supporting us. And we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they happen. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. My brothers and my sisters, there is tension between the Nigerian presidency and the Southern governors because of the ban on open grazing by the Southern governors, which the Southern governors said that it, the ban is irreversible. And the Nigerian government is putting pressure on them and threatening them to reverse the ban. Earlier, the Northern Elder Forum questioned why the Southern governors took a decision like, you know, banning open grazing in the South without consulting Meyeti Allah. Later on, the Senate president criticized and blasted the Southern governors that they have no authority to take such a decision without the permission of the Northern governors and elites. Then the Attorney General of the Federation followed suit. He blasted the Southern governors that their decision on open grazing ban was unconstitutional and asked them to reverse it immediately. Then a federal high court in Abuja waded in and said that the southern governors have the right constitutionally to ban open grazing. That is, they have the power given to them through the fraudulent 1999 constitution that enables them to ban open grazing. But the Janja weeds are fighting back. They are fighting back. The Nigerian government are fighting back. Meyeti Allah is fighting back. The Fulani governors are fighting back. You know they are fighting back because they have an agenda. They disguise as Fulani headsmen to terrorize the whole of the South. Come to look at it. If you see the Fulani headsmen, you can see how Richard and Paul those headers are. But if you look at the number of cattle that they are, they are rearing and they are, they are grazing, they want millions of naira. They want, they want millions of naira. Ordinarily, you should think that if those rearing those cattle own the cattle, then they would not be poor. They would not be dressing dirty. So this means that the owners of the cattle are not the one taking them from one location to the other. They are not the one. And the Nigerian government needs to investigate this. Get those who are causing the trouble the people causing the trouble are those who own the cattle. They are the ones. And they are the ones giving power to the poor headers to commit atrocities. They are the ones. You know, they are the ones. And now the presidency, through their usual spokesperson, Galba Shewu, said that the southern governors are playing a power game they are playing politics that the open grazing ban is unconstitutional the chairman of the southern governors forum governor ifai okowa of delta state told galba shewu led presidency that there was nothing wrong in the southern governors demonstrating their executive power 
Even if it is playing politics, they are demonstrating their executive powers. Just as the federal government demonstrates their own executive powers too. By, you know, ordering shoot at sight or shoot on sight in Biafra land. So the governors have the power to demonstrate, they have the right to demonstrate their own executive power. They have, you know, reviewed the causes of insecurity in their domain. And they found out that the root cause is open grazing. And the open grazing, the Fulani Janjaweeds, they disguise as headers in order to commit atrocities in the South. So the Southern governors took the bull by the horn and they put their feet on the ground and said, no, we have to get rid of the root cause of insecurity in our domain which is banning of open grazing. But for we Biafrans, banning of open grazing is not even enough. What we want is referendum. Referendum, so that we can live in our own country peacefully. We can live in our country peacefully. Even the Fulani governor of Bauchi State, Bala Mohamed described the Nigerian presidency as clueless and because of their cluelessness they are unable to address the challenges facing Nigeria but that you know they, they are unable but this I disagree with him you know, my brothers and my sisters, I disagree with him because the Nigerian government has an agenda. They have an agenda which Balaam Mohammed is aware of and is a party to. He's just trying to deceive the gullible minds in order to make them think that some of them, the Fulani governors, are supporting the Southern Governor's re resolutions. That's what they are trying to play. Himself and his Kanu State counterparts, Ganduje, both of them are playing that game. They are, they are playing that game, and it's all about politics. And that is why Biafrans want referendum. Our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, knows the Fulanese very well. He knows them too well. They will do everything to ensure that their fulanization expansionist agenda is achieved. According to the Ondo State Governor, Akredolu, he said the killer fulanese are bororos from foreign countries in the Sahel. And the southern governors are not asking them to go, but are opposed to the criminality that they bring into the south by kidnapping, killing, and raping Southerners in Southern forests and bushes. And Akredolu said that the only way to stop these atrocities is to ban open grazing that brings these criminal elements into the Southern region of Nigeria. The 17 Southern governors blasted Garba Shewu for saying that the announcement on open grazing is of questionable legality. They said Gaba Shewu is creating confusion in the polity by his utterances. He was not elected. He is just an appointee, so he cannot speak for the president. The southern governor said Gaba Shewu just releases statements anyhow and claims it to be from the president. This is what our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, have been saying all along, that Nigeria has no president. And those statements that Gaba Shewu always releases are not from Buhari because there is no Buhari at Asorok. 
but they are statements from Mejetiala. As our leader, Mazin Amdekano, have advised the Southern governors, they should just walk away from the fraudulent contraption and be free, and nothing will happen. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please watch out for the next, and bye-bye for now.